Hi again. So let's continue our lesson number uh, three, uh, three B for advanced charts. So I'm going to share to you again our PowerPoint. So as again, as I told you earlier, this PowerPoint is on the Moodle. So download this first and then open an Excel file and practice and follow what I was uh, uh, I was discussing. Okay. So the next type of chart that we're going to discuss is minimalist chart. So again, as I told in the beginning, the first video, so this is actually the third video for this lessons, advanced charts. So if you have just watched this you first, so please go to the first and second video or videos first, okay? So minimalist chart, this is how it will look like. As you can see, there's no uh, vertical axis and so on. It's just like bar or column. Okay, so bar and columns, which you will have uh, to illustrate the data. So this is an example of each department's performance. So you can see department one, two, and three, four, and five, the per uh, performance measured in percentage. Simple as that. So when you're illustrating, simple, but you have to uh, bear with me on how to do this. So you have a simple table initially department one, depart, uh, performance one. Uh, why is it one? Because the output of this when we transform this, you will have to copy the same values, okay, of the performance. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Transform this table to this table and then follow this actually steps, not steps, but that's not complete. We're just going to summarize the steps on add data labels. So the data labels is this, the department three and the 88%. Those are the data labels. Remove grid lines and access, set the series data labels. Okay, so let me uh, copy this original table. It's on our slide number six. So copy this table. Okay. On our Excel. So I'm going to stop sharing this. So I'm going to go back to our Excel file. So this is the, uh, the butterfly chart uh, worksheet that I gave you or I discussed. Let's go to a new worksheet. Okay, then I'll copy the, uh, the one from or the original data from slide number one. Uh, so just for us to see, I'll copy this again to see where it came from. Okay, and I'll copy this again. So as I said, performance tool, just copy the, all the data from performance one. Okay, so just change this to two. Okay, so department, department, performance one, performance two. I'll just uh, change the format to percentage. On the home tab, you have the percentage here. Okay, and that's it. Simple as that. Okay, now we're going to uh, create a bar chart. Ah, no, no, it's, let's start with the vertical, so column chart, so the simple column chart. So highlight the whole table and then insert column chart, a 2D column, okay, as simple as that. So as you can see, there are two bars which is identical to each other for each department because you copied performance one with performance two, okay? So the idea is we will keep that. There is no issue about keeping that. Okay, so as you see, you saw from the instruction slide number uh, six of our PowerPoint presentation, you need to remove the others. You just have to keep this chart. So click on removing the plus sign on the axis, the chart title, the grid lines, and the legend. So you have to keep only this bar. I, make, I will make it a little bit more bigger. 
Okay, so you see the idea here is after you remove all the elements, you have to put now the data label. So what labels do we need? So in the first, uh, again, you have to refer back to the PowerPoint. We need to see the category name, okay, and the value. The values inside and the category name outside. But you cannot, uh, the, the, the important thing that you have to remember here in this, uh, in this uh, part of this is that you cannot put it at once. You have to use the two bars. So the first bar will contain or will show you the data label, which is the value by default, okay? So if you're going to see this, this is the value, okay? But by default, it is outside. So let's show it here, format data labels. Okay, how did I get here? Because I went here and click data labels and then I click on the triangle and then I click more options. Okay, so you are now here. So this is the value. But as you can see again in the PowerPoint, so let me just show you again the PowerPoint. Uh, in the PowerPoint, the values are inside and then the category name is outside. So again, you cannot do this at one time. That's why you need the two bars. One will hold the values, one will hold the category name. So let's go back to our Excel file. So as, I show, uh, as I told you, bear with me because we're going back and forth. I hope you're not feeling dizzy. <laughs> okay, so this is now the label position. So you have those data labels. By default, it's outside end. What we're going to do is to put it inside end. This is it. Okay, now you cannot put the category name here because it cannot be separated when you click the category name. You see the result, right? So I remove that. That's why we need a second bar. The second bar now is going to be holding the data label. Click on that. Click on the triangle. More options. Okay. And then label options here. And then you put the category name and remove the values. And show the other line. So here, department one. 91%, department 2, 89%, department 3, 88%. Okay, so this is fine. It's outside end. Okay, on the blue, it's inside end. Okay, so we are almost done. Uh, <clears throat> the next thing is to do the trick. What do we mean by trick? So for uh, for the uh, when you saw the PowerPoint, it's different in color. That's what I'm going to adjust. I'm just going to click one of this uh, bar, which is the blue, and I'll go to the format and then change again the shape field. So you have seen that we just use this. Okay, I will use a green color if you want a green color. Okay, and you can change the uh, the options here. Feel you have here, yes, yeah, solid feel. Okay, but the color is green, but you can change the transparency. Okay, so you can do that here uh, to make it a, a little bit transparent. Okay, so let's see if I am achieving the color. Yes. So now I'm going to go with the orange one. This is where the trick is. I will remove the feel of this, no feel. You can see that the bar is invisible. Okay, now this is where you have to pay attention. You have to
let's see. Where are this? Yeah, okay, you go back to the series options. And this is what we're gonna do it, okay? And uh, we have here a series overlap and a gap width. This is where you're going to adjust the series overlap to be 100%, okay? So when you do that series overlap to be 100%, it goes on top of each other, okay? Now the gap width is where the trick for the width of the bar, meaning you're adjusting the width of each gap from the other bar. So if you uh, lessen this, your bar will be thicker, okay? So this is actually the final resort of that uh, bar. You can adjust it as you want. And this is the uh, output, okay, of our minimum discharge. So you can do that also if you want a bar chart. This is example, this is the column chart. Okay, so with that, I will continue on our next uh, couple of uh, advanced charts. I'll continue with that. With that, let me let me end this uh, video. Okay, let me end this video. Uh, I will continue again for the next part of the video. So, ciao.